In the book Academically Adrift, sociologists Richard Aram and Josipa Roxa report that after two years of college, 45% of American students haven't learned anything, and after four years, 36% haven't learned anything. Including, including in what they didn't learn is any kind of critical, analytical, reasoning, ability, skills. They don't have it. They don't know what the difference is between an argument and an opinion, and they don't know what evidence is. They literally have no idea. Most of the students, when asked, defined their college experience as social rather than academic or intellectual. That was what they were there for, to meet people, make friends, drink a lot of alcohol, and so on and so forth. Half the students in the study said they hadn't taken a single course in the previous semester that required more than 20 pages of writing. A third said they hadn't taken a course requiring more than 40 pages of reading. What were they doing? You know, watching videos? I mean, no idea. A Marist poll released July 4th of this year showed that 42% of American adults are unaware that the U.S. declared its independence in 1776. 42%. And when you go to the below 30 age group, it rises to 69%. 25% okay. of Americans don't know from which country the United States seceded. Bulgaria? You know, <laughs> Ghana? What? A recent Newsweek poll revealed that 73% of Americans can't give the official version of why we fought the Cold War, let alone the real version, but they can't give the official version of that and 44% are unable to say what the Bill of Rights is. A poll taken in the Oklahoma public school system, this just a few months ago, turned up the fact that 77% of the students didn't know who George Washington was. 77%. In a number of cities, libraries have closed for lack of funding, but I also think it's probably for lack of interest. I mean, who wants to bother with books? So the new high school curriculum in American history in Texas uh, does not have any units on Washington, Adams, or Thomas Jefferson, but it does have a study unit on Estee Lauder. Between 1987 and 2007, the number of Americans that are so disabled by mental disorders that they qualified for supplementary so security income or social security disability insurance increased 2.5 times, so that one out of every six Americans now falls into this category. For children, the increase is 35 times during the same period. That's our future. Mental illness is now the leading cause of disability among the child population of the United States. A survey of American adults conducted by the National Institute of Mental Health over 2001-2003 found that 46% of them met the criteria of the American Psychiatric Association for being mentally ill. 10% of Americans over the age of 6 now take antidepressants. Actually, it stretches back to at least age four now. Toddlers are taking Prozac. And I read elsewhere that in terms of the global market, in terms of volumes of sales, American sum consumption of antidepressants is two-thirds of the entire world's consumption. So here's a country with less than 5% of the world's population taking 67% of the antidepressant drugs. This has got to tell you something about the United States.